what's going on, everybody? It's your guy, Realistic, and I'm doing another kit overview for SoundOracle.net. And this one right here is called Digital Wax. It's a drum kit with a bunch of bonus kits in there. And this particular one we're really excited about because Oracle and I actually spent a lot of extra time on this. We wanted to get it right. We paid a lot of extra attention to details, and we also added in a lot of extra processing that we normally don't do. When you get to see the theme, of the kit you'll totally understand why this one took a little bit more time but it was so worth it i think people are really going to like this one and it's going to sound great so when we go ahead and open up the folder here it's a full bundle so you're going to see a couple folders in there the main thing is the drum kit which we have right here you see there's 808s claps kicks perks snares hi-hats and there's over 240 sounds as the one shots go. And then we also have another folder here that's really cool called Analog Textures. And there's a couple folders inside of here. We have uh, album and vinyl textures, which is really cool. Uh, basically what Oracle did was he actually sampled old vinyl records, recorded them right in back into his DAW. What he did was he recorded, you know, at the end of a record or the beginning of a, a record where it's just uh, vinyl crackle and hiss and and noise there's no actual music playing or anything so he sampled a bunch of stuff like that from like classic jazz records and classic uh r&b and and different motown records and just all these different uh vintage old school records uh so like i said there's no music in any of these so you don't have to worry about royalties or anything like that it's literally just noise but it's authentic noise uh because that's something too that we did when we processed the actual samples we didn't use rc20 or isotopes vinyl or any digital plugin to recreate vinyl what we did was we actually sampled real authentic vinyl crackle from oracle's records uh and anyways we gave you a whole folder of uh just that of just vinyl crackle that's all it is and then two uh in the same folder here with analog textures we have a uh we have radio tones and stuff like that uh i'll show you this whole pack i'll show you towards the end here but the uh, radio tones are really cool it gives you a lot of cool things for textures and then we have more radio tones but they're actually sequenced to a bpm so you can use them as loops or kind of more of a percussive feel if you wanted to all right and then we have this thing right here called called chord crate what we have here is 50 different midi chord progressions so they're not audio loops these are midi that you can drop into your daw and literally use any type of vst you want whether it's serum or omnisphere or contact or whatever it may be and then you can choose your own patches but this kind of stays along the style of the vintage tone that we're going with so it will really fit the the mood and the vibe of it and then last thing that we did here was we threw in a loop pack as well we got 12 loops here the, these loops are more kind of like a lo-fi boom bap again just to kind of fit the vibe of the the analog digital uh, combination that we're going for uh, from and of course they have the key and BPM in there and they have MIDI files to go along with it too so you can add your own layers and switch things up if you would like okay so my apologies this video is going to be a little bit longer than most of our overview videos uh, one because there's so many packs in here we have our digital wax and then we have the three bonus packs in here but another thing too is before i get into the actual overview video of what the sounds sound like i did want to explain the process of how we made this drum kit and these sounds so you can understand you know the the process and and why this kit is so unique not only is it different from all the other kits that we have on our site soundoracle.net but it's also different than anything else on the market right now. So I wanted to explain that. Now, if you do just want to jump right to the sounds, what I'll do is I'll put a tag, a time tag right there. So just whatever that time tag says, just skip ahead to that point in the video and it will bring you right to where you need to be to start hearing the actual sounds. But real quick, I'm just going to run through the process of what, how we made these because I think it's cool and I think that uh, it really adds to the appeal of this kit so oracle obviously he made all the uh drum sounds and everything uh, originally they're not recycled or anything they're all made from scratch that he sound designs himself and so what he had did was like i said he had uh recorded and sampled all those 
vinyl noises and crackles. And so he ran the uh, samples that he made, the drum samples, and then he blended it with the vinyl uh, sounds. And then he he ran it through samplers like uh, the ASR-10 and the MPC-2000. And so then what he did from there was afterwards, uh, after it ran through the sampler with those two blended together, he had ran them through reel-to-reel analog tape, like real tape, not a plug-in or anything, an actual analog piece of gear, and he ran it through there. So you get to hear some not only some tape hiss, but you get some analog compression and some saturation going on with each sound. And then so after that, what he did was he passed it on to me and I had then ran everything through a bunch of outboard gear, real analog gear. I had used things like an 1176, a pair of distressors. I got to run some things through an API legacy board, an actual big mixing console with a nice channel strip on it. I used Warm Audio's WA73, which is their take on the Neve 1073. They got pretty close, so we do have a pretty close sound to the Neve 1073 British EQ and preamp and then I also ran it through a VCA bus compressor which is modeled after the SSL and all of those things are actual analog outboard gear so you get the the real circuitry the real transformers it really added to the depth clarity and added a lot of extra beef to the actual sound of it. All right, so that was the process. I know it was a lot, but I think it was really kind of important for this particular kit to understand the process that went into making this sound kit because it's really cool. And two, what we did was we actually ran everything through analog gear, even the analog textures and the uh, the loops. We ran all that through analog gear as well, just to kind of give it that that electricity and everything. And uh, you know, of course, like any of our kits, these are going to work in any DAW or sampler. Uh, everything is 32-bit, so we've got plenty of headroom, and everything is at 44.1k. For the sample rate. All right, as promised, let's actually check out some of these sounds real quick here. Uh, so to start out here, let's go ahead and open up the 808 folder. So you can hear that those got a lot of thump, a lot of power, and you'll notice that these have a lot of bite to it. And the reason why that has that type of bite to it is because what I did was actually ran these through my 1073, and I purposely clipped the input on the analog side, and then I turned the output down coming out of the preamp, so that way it would clip on the analog side of things, but going back into Pro Tools, it did not clip, so we only have the actual analog clipping so kind of gave it a little nice little uh soft compression in there and some extra saturation i did the same thing with uh, the kicks and snares as well really gives it a cool bite that's something that i had learned from uh watching young guru actually he was talking about how with the 1073 that he likes to clip the input and turn the output down especially when it comes to drums and 808s so we got claps real quick And I'm sure too you can hear the, the tape hiss going on. You can also hear how there's vinyl crackle, especially at the end. There's nice little tails and stuff like that. So give a, a really cool vintage tone to when you're adding your drum tracks. And we got our hi-hat folder here. And just like all of our kits, we separated the closed and the open ones into separate folders. We do that because most of the time, if you're reaching for a hi-hat, you're pretty sure that you want a close or you know if you want an open hi-hat. So you can hear too that we got a nice little blend of modern and old school sounding hi-hats in there as well. Here's the open hi-hats.
Got really nice sizzle in there and some pretty nice crackle going on too. We'll come back to the kicks because those are my favorites. I like to save those for last. We got some cool perks in here as well. So a lot to choose from, same process as far as analog gear and vinyl and tape going on. Check out some of these snares. Uh, what's really cool about these snares, there's a handful of these that were ran through the API legacy board and the distressor. We did the same thing that we did with the Neve. We also, what we had did was we clipped the input of the API going in, then ran it through a 550B EQ section that's on the channel strip. Uh, and then what we did was we lowered the output so it wouldn't clip back into Pro Tools, but it clips on the analog side of things. What's really cool about the API 550B is it's known for its pristine top end, so it really adds a nice sparkle and shine without sounding too harsh, which is why I decided to use that board for the actual snares. And then a handful of snares, same process as uh, the other sounds, ran through a 1073 and then ran through a VCA bus compressor, and then a couple of them ran through the 1073 and then ran through the 1176. So it's a it's a blend of, of different outboard gear and you'll see that throughout, uh, you'll hear that throughout the, the full kit, even like kicks and stuff like that have different analog gear that's used in there. It's not just the, the same chain. So I think you can definitely hear there not only the clarity and just the, the depth and the beef to it, but that saturation of how we clip the input going in on the analog side, I think you can really hear how much just extra power and bite that it gave. It, it just, it sounds so great. That's what's really great about the analog world is, is clipping inside the analog world. You can really get some cool sounds that uh, you just can't emulate uh, digitally or at least digitally can't nail it 100%. And so that's that's what's really cool about this kit. Okay, so now let's go back to the kicks here because these are my favorite here. Uh, same thing that was going on as far as you know, clipping the input of the 1073, turning it down a little bit, just added some really good beef. And like I was telling you about how the API is known for its pristine top end, well, the 1073 is known for a silky smooth bottom. And so that's why I decided to use the 1073 for the kicks and the 808s because uh, when you EQ down in the, the low end on the 1073, it really adds a, a beautiful silky smooth bottom. It, it doesn't get too resonant. It doesn't get too muddy. It, it doesn't get too much of a buildup. It's just kind of nice and smooth and, and just really fits into the mix really well. So let's check out what some of these sound like. So you can hear the, the kicks right there, really beefy, they, they really knock, they got great punch to it, and you can hear what I'm talking about without how we clipped it on the analog side. It doesn't distort it, it doesn't add any like weird artifacts, it just kind of gives it some nice saturation and, and some nice analog compression with it, so it, it kind of really adds a, a cool vibe to it, and hey, if it was good enough for Young Guru, I feel like it's good enough for me, uh, so that's why I went ahead and did that. I love that trick. So now let's go ahead 
ahead and go through some of these bonus kits. That was the drums real quick. And now what we'll do is we'll start with analog textures. Like I said, this is stuff that Oracle actually sampled from real authentic vinyl. So these aren't made with any digital plugins or anything like that. This is authentic. So as you can hear, it's it's a bunch of different vinyl and crackles and noise and hiss. And there's all different styles in here. I thought he did a really good job of choosing selection. Instead of it just all kind of sounding the same, they, they kind of sound different. And this is really cool if you want to blend in little textures and stuff in the background. Okay, and the next folder here, we have some radio textures and tones. These are really cool. They'll add some really cool textures in the background. So let's check out what these sound like. So you see that it's got a lot of really cool tones and textures for you to be able to add and layer in. I think it's really cool for background stuff, especially when you still want to fill out a beat, but you really don't want to add any type of harmonic or melodic thing to it. Just be, be kind of cool to just add some textures in the background. And radio tones is such kind of a, a unique thing, especially how they're kind of the way that he set them up to, to go in and out and filtered and stuff like that. And then also Oracle created these. Uh, they all have the BPM. I think they're all the same BPM, but you can always do the uh, time stretch and, and change it. But these are just like the radio textures, except these have a tempo to it. And so it makes it really easy to loop and you can almost use it as a, as a percussion loop or something. <laughs> Yeah, so a really cool vibe. So that's the analog textures folder. And uh, just like the drum kit, I ran all this through analog gear, even the vinyl crackles. I know it's it's weird, but I was like, I just want everything to have that uh, analog circuitry and run through those transformers. So I didn't like EQ or boost anything. It was more just running through the preamp and the compressor just to, to get that circuitry. All right, and then what we have here is we have this thing called Chord Crate. These are a bunch of MIDI chord progressions for you to drop in. They kind of have more of that vibe that fits this overall kit with the vintage tone. So I'll show you what a few of these sound like. And of course, you can use any sound that you want. This is just a stock sound that Ableton had, so I know it's not like the coolest sound, but you know, you could obviously load up Omnisphere, or Contact, or whatever you want and choose your own patches. And two, since it's MIDI, you can always change the BPM and you know, you do have the ability to come down here and if you wanna switch the key or something like that, you can totally do that. Of course, with MIDI too, if you want, you can drop down the octave and stuff. 
So it just gives you a lot of options and freedom, but these are really nice if you're kind of, you know, can't really think of any melodies or, or chords or anything like that. You can have this real quick and you can still have your own original sound design and uh, patches and everything and really make it your own and sequence it. It's just really a, a nice little area to start. So we threw those in there and they kind of, you can hear they all kind of fit more of the vibe of the vintage tone, lo-fi, boom bap, jazz, classic R&B, regular R modern R&B, you know, it's kind of more that that lane. Okay, and then the last thing we have here, we have our loop pack, retroactive loops. Of course, everything has the key and BPM in there, and then each one of these loops also comes with the MIDI file to go along with it. So if you wanted to layer or replace a sound in this, uh, you can do that, and then all the guesswork's done for you. You don't have to try to figure out what the key is or what the chords are trying to do. So it just makes it really easy. Same thing as everything else. The all these loops were ran through analog gear, so we really get some nice clarity and depth with that. I let that last one play a little bit longer so you could hear that there's different sections where, you know, some instruments will drop out and will just play, you know, just one of the instruments. That way you can have some sequencing and be able to move stuff around. And uh, uh, most of the loops are like that, that had several layers. We kind of let each layer have uh, a section for it to shine. So some of these loops are, you know, 16 or, or 20 or 24 measures long. Instead of the typical two to four bar loops, we made them longer just so you could be able to have arrangement opportunities and do different things for sequencing. I'm sure you could tell with the what we did with the theme of this loop pack stay with the vintage style so these kind of feel more like stuff that could you know go with lo-fi or boom bap or something you know like a throwback or old school these could still go along you know with hip-hop and trap and pop and i actually think it would actually sound really cool throwing some trap drums on this or something like that uh but we we stuck more with this style because we felt like it fit the the vibe of the kit instead of you know the the, the sound that we might hear in like a trap record for like Migos or Little Baby or Playboy Cardi. We got a lot of loop packs like that already, so we wanted to do something more that kind of fit the, the lo-fi boom bap audience a little bit more. So anyways, that is the kit Digital Wax. The main kit is the drum kit, but it also comes with those three bonus packs. Now, the bonus packs are not limited edition. So if you're watching this video a year or two from now, don't worry. You'll still get all those bonus packs. They're just a part of it because we really wanted to create a full-on experience with this pack because there's just so many cool things that you can do with analog and tape and vinyl. So we wanted to just bring all that stuff to you. And again, my apologies for this video being so long, but you see, I want 
wanted to explain the process so you know there was an understanding of why this kit is so unique and there was also a lot of sounds to go along with it because we do have those three bonus loop packs now i didn't play every sound i probably only touched on 20 percent of the sounds in here so if you want to hear the whole kit all you got to do is go over to soundoracle.net and put digital wax in your shopping cart check out and you're going to be able to check out all the sounds and i think you're going to make some really cool stuff with this hey thanks for watching be sure to subscribe to our channel right here so you can catch the latest tutorials on mixing mastering and production and you can check out some of our suggested videos here here and here and of course, if you're looking for premium loops and samples, you can find that at soundoracle.net. We got plenty to choose from.